Modern water-cooled Porsche engines should see ideal oil temperatures in the range of 220 to 225 degrees Fahrenheit. The 3.8 and 4 liter engines can see temps in excess of 300 degrees Fahrenheit during track use. The Billet Racing Service deep oil sump can lower temperatures by up to 40 degrees Fahrenheit by providing increased oil capacity. More capacity means oil takes longer to overheat and break down. The sump brings a total capacity to 9.5 to 10 quarts. The sump also adds an additional drain plug for faster or more complete oil draining. The kit includes two new LN magnetic drain plugs along with a pickup tube extension to ensure added oil can be utilized. Factory oil control baffle and the oil level sender bolt on without any modifications. Begin by safely raising and supporting the vehicle and draining all the oil. Please see our articles and videos for additional assistance with those tasks if needed by following the link provided at the end of this video. If you are changing out pans, you will want to swap over the oil level sender to the new pan, Red Arrow. Use a flat head screwdriver and release the wiring connection clip, Red Arrow, and separate them. Use a T30 torque and remove the three screws indicated by the red arrows. Pull the sender straight down. Use care as even though you have drained the oil, some additional oil will spill out. When installing the sender into the new pan, always replace the gasket indicated by the red arrow. Use a T30 torque and remove the 23 screws holding the pan to the engine, red arrows. I like to leave one on each side in finger tight until I'm ready to remove the pan. Make sure the T30 is well seated. Even though these do not take a lot of torque, you do not want to strip them out. There are several places on the pan where there are tabs or ears to help pry the pan away from the engine red arrow. Never pry anywhere else and never between the mating surfaces of the pan and the block. If the pan does not come away easily, you have missed a screw. Pull the pan down and away from the engine. Use care because even though you have drained the oil, there will be a surprising amount still in the pan. Remove the old gasket from the engine side and clean the mounting surface well. There is a small cutout inside the engine side at the rear and indicated by the red arrow where you will place the tab on the gasket, blue arrow. Do not forget to replace the two O-ring gaskets for the center mounts, red arrows. Use an E10 torque and remove the plastic baffle from the stock pan, red arrows. The new deep sump pan is a beautiful billeted piece of aluminum. It includes two drain plugs, red arrows. The plastic baffle from the stock pan sits on top of the billeted section of the deep pan, blue arrow. Install the baffle and torque the screws to 13 newton meters or 9.5 foot pounds. You are going to remove the original sump pickup tube, red arrow, and transfer over the pickup boot and circlip. But first, you will need to remove the oil pressure line, blue arrow, and the air oil separator, green arrow. There is a single T30 Torx screw, blue arrow, that holds the oil pickup in place. You cannot access this screw without removing the oil pressure line and the AOS. Note the orientation of the rubber pickup boot, red arrow. Use an E10 torque and remove the three screws holding the oil pressure tube in place, red arrows. The single screw that holds the line to the case is up behind the baffle and needs the use of an extension. Be prepared when you remove the two screws on the oil line as oil will pour out. Remove the line by pulling it down and out. Inspect the O-ring and replace as needed, red arrow. Use an E10 and remove the five screws holding the AOS in place, red arrows. 
The plastic lines are held in place by a clip, indicated by the red arrow. You can just lower the AOS down towards the rear of the engine to get access to the oil pickup. Use a T30 torque and remove the single screw holding the pickup tube in place, red arrow. Slide the tube out from the oil pump and inspect the seal or o-ring and replace as needed, red arrow. Take the pickup tube to your bench and remove the factory circlip, red arrow, and the rubber pickup. Install the o-ring provided in the kit into the groove the factory circlip was in, red arrow. Grease this with Porsche synthetic grease or equivalent. Insert the factory pickup tube into the billet extension using the cutout in the extension to make sure the tube sits flat. Then insert the supplied circlip into the groove in the extension red arrow. Reinstall the factory rubber boot into the extension in the same orientation as it was on the oil pickup tube and install the factory circlip in the groove in the extension red arrow. Reinstall the tube and double check the orientation of the rubber pickup red arrow. Torque the T30 screws to 13 Newton meters or 9.5 foot pounds. Installation is the reverse of removal. Lightly coat the new gasket with Porsche synthetic grease or equivalent. Install and torque the screws in the order displayed in this image. Torque the screws to 13 Newton meters or 9.5 foot pounds and then retorque screws 1 through to 4 again to 13 Newton meters or 9.5 foot pounds. Install the oil level center and torque the screws to 10 Newton meters or 7.5 foot pounds. Make sure to check the torque on the drain plugs to 26 Newton meters or 19 foot pounds. Now refill your oil making sure to account for the increased capacity. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.